While most animals are insects, there are plenty of other species to confuse you. The millipedes and centipedes have way too many legs to be an insect. But these multi-legged creatures undoubtedly had a common ancestor with the insects. Take the time and count the legs, but don't do it while they're running. Well, it does take six legs to be an insect. But millipedes and centipedes are segmented arthropods, just of different classes. Millipedes really don't have a thousand legs, but more like 80 to 400. That's still not too bad. If it appears that two legs come from each body segment, then it's a millipede. Then look at segment number seven, the location of the gonopods, or copulatory structures. These structures transfer the sperm, but you could have guessed that one. Sometimes you come across male and female embraced together in a gonopodal rapture. That can last for days after the deed is done. And then the guy rides on top for several more days in a jealous watch over other lascivious males. Millipedes are hatched from eggs laid in the soil. Babies have only three pairs of legs, kind of like training wheels. The rest come with future molts, followed by intense coordination practice. Millipedes are animals of dark, dank, humid places, like rotten logs, leaf litter, under bark, and in the soil. To people, they are harmless, and to their natural enemies, they are protected by a hard exoskeleton. However, many use chemical warfare, like this polydesmid that sprays hydrogen cyanide as far as 30 centimeters. Grab one. Shake it in your hand and smell the sweet smell of almonds. That's the cyanide. Others exude nasty chemical ooze from pores on their segments, which to a small predator could cause harm. But to people, the worst it can do is cause blisters and tan your skin. This spiroboid millipede curls into a protective ball. And millipedes are important decomposers, eating wood and other plant material, digesting it with heavy duty microflora in their gut. Oddly, they are important in the mineral cycle too, as their exoskeleton has lots of calcium. This, on the other hand, is a centipede. These long, many-segmented arthropods look similar, but have only one pair of legs per segment. Segments vary 15 to 81, but not one species has an even number of legs, so not one has 100 legs. They have long antennae, and the front legs are modified into articulated fangs that have internal venom glands. This house centipede lives up to its name and occupies many houses. Some people like to keep them around because they clean up the roaches. Although centipedes can reach up to 27 centimeters, the ones you find in Costa Rica are much smaller. They can bite it for ast but not too bad. Man, at least the pain goes away fast. Centipedes too like warm, humid habitats like underbark, logs, and stones during the day. But at night, they come out to feed on earthworms and small insects. Yummy. Mm -hmm. 